So, VR game releases have sort of been few and far between the past year, and I think we're all kind of feeling that VR content drought. But there are lots of games that you can easily spend hundreds if not thousands of hours in, all for completely free. And that's exactly what this video is. Here are a ton of free VR games, mostly on the Quest 2 and Oculus App Lab, but some of these are also available on Steam VR. However, every single title here is a certified banger. Every single song you own is a banger. And I'm sure a lot of you have heard of some of the more popular free games here, but I almost guarantee that you'll find a new game here to try out. And like I said, you got nothing to lose except time, because all of these cost exactly zero dollars. And just a quick disclaimer, I'm sure there are some awesome free games that I did miss, and I want to try them all of course, so if I missed one, comment down below if you have a free Quest or Steam VR game that deserves more attention. And also, in case you're unaware, App Lab games are on the Oculus Store, but won't show up unless you search for them exactly. Exactly. It's super easy to do, you don't have to do anything else. They just won't show up if you don't search for it. And I'm gonna try to go through as many as possible without wasting your time, so don't expect a full review on every single game, just my summary and recommendation. But we got about 20 games to go through, so let's go. I'm gonna start this video with some of the most obvious titles that I think everyone should have downloaded, simply because there's practically endless content in this category. It's free, and you can actually play for thousands of hours. Social VR applications. I'll start with Rec Room. With literally millions of players across all sorts of devices and thousands of worlds and creations, Rec Room kind of has a little bit of something for everybody. In terms of straight up games and multiplayer games at that, Rec Room really thrives. From things like Battle Royales, Paintball, Frisbee Golf, there's a lot of simple stuff, but I swear some of the funnest cooperative multiplayer games are within Rec Room. Just give Rise of Jumbotron and Golden Trophy a run through, those two worlds are way deeper than you'd think. But but Rec Room may not be for everyone. It's very family friendly, which means a lot of the players are pretty young. I mean, the Rec Room squeaker is a known thing for a reason. But if you're looking for a little more of an adult crowd or a lot more customization, look no further than the application that I've spent the most time in in VR in general, VR Chat. Look, I know VR Chat is actually pretty divisive in the VR community because if you don't know where to go, it can get pretty rowdy pretty fast. But I promise VR Chat is not just screaming kids, memes, and profanities, there's a lot more to it. And if you're looking for the most expansive, free VR application on the market, this is it. And it's really what you make of it. There are tons of games, beautiful worlds, trippy worlds, live music events, thousands of people, literally endless customization. Like I said, you can be anything and anywhere, you don't have to be an anime chick or furry or something. Just do me a favor and look a little deeper than Black Hat or the most popular worlds, you will be rewarded with cool stuff, I promise you just gotta actually try. A couple other must tries are Gorilla Tag, it's pretty fun, super social, and has a large community behind it. The skill ceiling is almost endless, and uh, I'm really not that good at it, but it's always a fun time when I hop in for a few minutes. And the last social app, Big Screen, this was a VR mainstay just a few years ago, and I think it still deserves a spot here. You can rent full-on high-res 3D movies, some of them still in theaters, play low-latency flat games in VR, share presentations, just randomly watch a movie someone is streaming, all with friends and other people, it kind of does something that nothing else does and should probably be in every Quest owner's library or really any VR owner's library. It's just a good utility and it also received a bunch of great updates recently. The ability to watch anything with anybody and not have to be in any other application is just great. But now we're finally past the social VR must-haves, let's talk about some individual games and applications. There's no order here, just fun, free experiences. I was I recently really shocked when I downloaded a game called Battle Talent off of a recommendation from someone in my Discord. It's a full-on physics-based action game on App Lab with varied enemies, a bunch of weapons, magic, a progression system with multiple dungeons, a sandbox mode, and even has mod support. Like this is almost blade and sorcery level of fun, maybe even funner in some ways, but it's free and like I said, mod support. I expected to just spend a few minutes testing the game and I ended up playing until my quest dies and that says something right there. Probably one of the funnest App Lab gems that I've found yet, just give it a go. Like I said, you got nothing to lose except for time, and maybe a couple holes in the wall from getting too immersed. <laughs> 
but yeah, it's fun. Next up is probably the single best multiplayer game on the Quest right now. A massive player base, a ton of game modes, solid gameplay, of course, it's Pavlov Shack. And it's an app lab, so it's not gonna show up in the store, and I honestly kinda prefer playing Pavlov on the Quest 2 with the Shack version than playing on the PC with my index at this point. There's way more players, gameplay is practically the same, there's been a good string of updates lately, performance is more than playable, and I can do it anywhere without a wire. And in case you don't know what Pavlov is, it's pretty much a standard military first-person shooter like a Call of Duty mixed with Counter-Strike. Look, it just gets the job done, it does it pretty darn well and with a large active player base. TTT, Gun Game, Team Deathmatch, Bomb Plant, and more, you just can't beat it. Next up is something a little different. If violence isn't your gig, check out Liminal. And this app needs a little explaining because it's actually super interesting. Really utilizing the full potential of VR, this is a collection of 60 plus varied VR experiences, ranging from psychedelic rooms to crazy ethereal landscapes or launching into space or even fighting off robots. There's a wide range of things to do, but there's a way deeper meaning to Liminal. The whole app is meant to alter your state of mind and improve your mood by playing the experiences. And in Liminal, you're actually taking part in VR research by neuroscientists and psychologists with the goal of improving emotions and cognitive states through VR. The whole app changes the available experiences every week and you can unlock more by taking part in test experiences. Pretty much you enter a test and state how you felt before the experience, then how you felt after. That's basically it. And some of the experiences in Liminal are not great and are pretty boring, which you can also let them know that. But others are actually jaw-dropping. I don't know, I just kind of fell in love with the idea of Liminal and I've had way too much fun exploring all of the random experiences while helping out some VR neuroscience research. So pretty cool. But back to a proper game. Gun Raiders has been extremely fun. It's a free to play multiplayer shooter with very solid gameplay mechanics, wall climbing, jetpacks, flying, character customization, a bunch of maps and game modes. I really didn't expect to have this much fun, but Gun Raiders is just a very solid VR game that you could easily throw a lot of time into. And a lot of people even say that this is their favorite VR game, and I can kind of see why. If it's for you, it seems like it's really for you. Some of the best movement mechanics I've seen in a multiplayer VR game. But now I'm going to bring up two art based applications, because honestly, it doesn't matter if you're an artist for a living or you have a hard time drawing a circle. Art in VR is just plain fun and super immersive. Just throw on some music and Picasso it up. Plus, these are crazy powerful tools. You can make anything and bring it practically anywhere. So let's start with this one. You may be familiar with Tiltbrush, a Google owned art application in VR that Google just shut down for some reason. Well, Google ended up making the entire application's code open source, so now it's free and it's called OpenBrush, available on App Lab. And there's just so much you can do here. In my opinion, OpenBrush should be on everyone's quest. It's like a Microsoft Paint for VR, just way better. And the next application is Gravity Sketch. Recently turned free, you can do art, 3D models, sketches, whole scenes, you can pretty much do anything three-dimensional here. Then you can take the model you made in VR and 3D print it or bring it into VR chat. It's just awesome and it's a workhorse of a 3D tool. And Gravity Sketch really is more of a tool than Open Brush is, but it's still free and it's super powerful. Just try the thing, either one, throw on some music and get lost in your creations. Trust me, you'll be surprised. Next are two free rhythm games and one is super crazy, accessible through the Quest browser. You don't even need to download anything. Called Moonrider and all you have to do is type in moonrider.xyz in the browser and you're in and you're playing. Pretty cool and it's actually good. It's like a free browser version of Beat Saber with a ton of songs built in. Honestly, I'm kind of blown away by this one. And the next one is more of a demo. Kazuna AI offers a couple pretty good tracks to play if this music is your sort of thing, but the gameplay itself changes the formula enough that it feels engaging. Now onto a game that is probably turned into one of my favorite quest games in general. Available on App Lab, it's Hybo, a multiplayer bow shooter. It's clean, fast paced, runs well, and has a good player base, low skill floor, and a high skill ceiling with some really fun, engaging combat. You can fly around, bounce off things, snipe or scatter arrow, it's like everyone's a VR Hanzo. It's just fast and fun and the formula really works in VR. And it's also a game that I don't see people 
talk about very often, but it definitely needs some more attention. The Ancient Dungeon beta is a surprisingly deep roguelite dungeon crawler. Even if the graphics seem very Minecrafty and simple, the game is incredibly addictive and could easily give you dozens of hours of fun, even in the free beta version. It's also surprisingly pretty with some good looking fire and particle effects really spicing up the aesthetics of the game world. And plus, it's not necessarily easy. In general, tons of replayability, tons of hours of fun. I mean, I don't even like dungeon crawlers or roguelites, and I found myself really loving this one. It's worth a big recommend for sure. And there's just a few left, but these last few are probably some of the absolute best VR experiences I have ever had, paid or free. Starting off, one that may make you puke everywhere, but if you can handle it, it's worth trying at least once. Mission ISS is an international space station simulator, zero G and everything. You can fly through the ISS, bounce off walls, punch things, even do a spacewalk. It's a beautiful experience, and even if you only play it once, whether you get sick or not, it's one of those really awesome VR experiences that you'll likely never forget. And like I said, you literally have nothing to lose except your lunch, but it's worth it. And next up isn't a game per se. Instead, probably the best VR story experience I have ever, well, experienced. Called Goliath Playing With Reality. Just a warning, you're probably gonna cry or feel some sort of emotion, so just be ready for it. But in some ways, feeling something is better than nothing. <laughs> but it's truly amazing. As the store page says, a true story guiding you through the many realities of Goliath, a man who spent years isolated in psychiatric institutions. It's a mind-bending and heartfelt VR experience that will likely leave you completely speechless. If you're down for that, just give it a go. It didn't win a grand prize at the Venice Film Festival for nothing. It's profound. And now just some honorable mentions, some more free games that are certifiably good. Of course, Echo VR. I don't really play this game anymore, but it is super solid. It looks great, plays good. I'm just a way bigger fan of Echo Combat rather than the Frisbee-based Echo. However, that doesn't seem to be coming to Quest ever, and it also costs money. But Echo is worth a shot, it's just not for me. Trip VR's relaxation and focus demo is 100% worth it if you're stressed out. It's a very short, simple 8 minute demo, but as I was stressed out for this video, I tried it out and, uh, well, it worked because here you are watching this video now. <laughs> Thanks, Trip. Bait is a perfectly solid and fun fishing game. I actually ended up playing it way longer than I expected, and I think if you end up downloading it, you'll probably have the same experience. It's just a good free fishing game. Gym Class Basketball is a decently realistic basketball physics game. It's multiplayer, pretty fun, and probably the most accurate basketball game for VR right now. T for God demo is an amazing play space based adventure game using your actual play space to generate a procedural world that you can walk around forever. You will need a decent sized play space for this, but it's totally worth the experience and it's quite literally endless and it's physical. There's only a few things that are like it and they're all paid. It's just awesome. So that was almost 20 free VR games and honestly, you could probably spend thousands of hours playing just these. There are lots of free things for VR, but a lot of them kind of suck and these just don't. Another benefit is that most of these are pretty small file size wise, so having a massive library of games and tools and experience really isn't going to take much of your storage space. And I really hope that you guys found a new favorite free game, or if you just got a quest, you can fill that thing up without killing the wallet. And if there's a game here for either Steam VR or Quest that I missed that's free and awesome, please let me know down below because depending on how much people like this, I'd love to make updated versions of this in the future. And speaking of that, make sure to leave a like on this video if you liked it and subscribe. It helps the channel out a ton and I really appreciate it. And thank you to all of my wonderful Patreon supporters for making videos like this a reality. I couldn't do any of this without you. And I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your day and enjoy some great time in VR. Until the next one, much love, thrill out.